Hello, my brothers and sisters. It's Paul here. I'd like to share a couple of dreams I received both on May 6th and today, May 7th. I'll begin with the first one. The first dream yesterday, I was witnessing what it looked like two doctors with a patient on a bed, and they walked this patient outside the hospital to the entrance which would be a ramp going toward uh, the entrance of the hospital. And I saw them just simply let go of the bed, and the bed started rolling down the hill towards the entrance. And in spirit, I saw people run out and catch this bed just before it slammed against the windows and the doors, and they brought them in. So I continued to witness and I followed these people in with the man on the bed. And to my left, I saw many, many people uh, that looked like doctors wearing their white coats and all different nationalities and all different ages, mostly young, though. And none of them were doing anything. They, they looked the part. They were acting the part, but they were not actually doing anything. So... I look back to my right and I continue to follow the people that brought that man into the actual hospital and triage area and they went through the doors and the door shut. So I continued to, what seemed like I was flying, I uh, went through the doors and then it was bizarre. The inside of the area that should have been a triage area, it should have been desk, doctors, nurses, everybody... Instead, it was like an empty warehouse. I saw random beds everywhere, and I didn't actually see anybody. It was almost like a dead zone. And that was the end of the first dream. And this morning was very interesting. I was... I didn't actually see myself, but I did feel like it was me. So I was back in an ambulance that I used to drive when I was doing a patient transport we used to bring and go pick up a lot of non-emergency cases at people's homes. or, But in this dream, it was different. We were driving down back lanes. And I saw people's houses of people I knew. And we were coming to get them because their time on earth was finished. So we would pull up. And, and there was one that stood out. Like we were in a back lane, like I said. We arrived at, and it was a guy named Carlos that I grew up with and worked when I was in my young, younger years, in my 20s, at a hospital. And in the dream, when I arrived at his back lane, back, like his, the area of his house in the back lane, I saw a star shoot down and land, and it was an angel coming to get him. And I looked at him. And he looked at me, and he's like, it's your turn. And I went, what? And he goes, it's your turn. My time's up. And he left, and I continued to drive. So what came to be like the end of the day, what should have been the end of the shift, when I arrived there, there was, it became evident to me that it was the end of winter, and the snow was melting, and the route that I was on, still had snow on it and this is what was weird is the front of the ambulance is out a plow and it looks like we were plowing the snow out of the way so the boss or whoever this person was in charge said does anybody want to do more shifts or or more and i remember saying well you know what i only have two more passes on this one street why don't i just finish it and they said okay and they turned to everybody else and I overheard somebody I knew by the name of Colin was getting disciplined for going too slow. I didn't understand that, but I moved on. So I got back in the ambulance and I went for a drive and it began to get dark. And then that's when it dawned on me, wow, I shouldn't be driving. My eyes are tired and I wear hard contacts. So I only get to a good 12 hours of like safe sight, I'll call it. And then my eyes burn and then I have to remove my contacts to wear glasses and I didn't have what I needed to continue. So just as I was about to turn around and go back, I noticed as I was clearing the street before a bridge that my confirmation car was beside me, a yellow one. So I let them go and they went ahead of me. One went, two went, then three went. I was like, oh, that's amazing. So I knew right then and there that I needed to share this because when I looked up what snow was, 
I'll put it up on the screen. Um, it's a beautiful thing, actually. It's it's meaning of cleanliness and, and needing us to clean out you know, our ways, our house, whatever. So maybe the representation of going in the back lane meant everybody, all of us, like anyone listening right now, it's time to clean up, clean our house, be ready. I think the Lord is coming so soon. So anyway, that's the second dream. And pray on it. Ask for discernment. I believe it's about just being ready, but you might be told something else by the Lord. So I love you guys and have a wonderful day.